I'm playing Ancestors the Humankind Odyssey because I think it's freaking awesome and huge thanks to everyone out there using my supporter creator code Loka Hansen when buying the game in the Epic Game Store. It is absolutely massively appreciated. So guys I'm out in the unknown once again trying to to branch out a little bit to discover more parts of the jungle area and so far things have pretty much been the same a lot of dead branches you know some nasal cycads some berries but uh, I, I kind of want to get this entire area discovered out to see can I start finding new interesting things because I, I kind of feel like the starting area is is pretty well covered for me. Conquer your fear, yeah. Expand your clan's home range, like that. Easy stuff, we have mastered everything that we could and we are now king of the Kung Fu fighters. Okay, I don't know about that, but I at least I'm not scared in this area anymore. So that is a good thing. It is a new area that is opening up for me and what we're gonna be finding is, uh, is yet to be discovered, <laughs> obviously, but I want to, to get this landmark cleared out as well to see what, what type of an area we are in. What do we have there? Memorized, no. I mean, it's so close. Come on, discover it all right already. Are you kidding me? We need to go, we need to go there. Okay. Okay, well, we got cocos in the area. That's always good. In case we are poisoned, we can always grab a coco. Can I do this? No. I am the fairly pants at jumping still. It is, um, yeah, it's gonna get better, I promise. I'm still on like day four of gaming or something, but it's, um, it's, um, I'm not, I'm not proud about my jumping skills, but I'm also not trying to cover the fact that I'm an absolute noob still in this game. It's probably gonna be better, like when I've played it for, for a month or so. I, I promise my, my second playthrough is, uh, it's gonna be all ninja in the trees or something or something i don't know it we will find out right now i'm just gonna eat some of this cat oh yes i am regain some of that stamina so that we can go up there without jumping i i mean even though i i'm not that good at, at the jumping stuff i i hope that i can somehow get better at it like in terms of an evolutionary thing because i feel like they should be able to jump further but um uh, we will see. I don't know how many options we're going to be getting in the game in regards to that. Okay, so where is um, where is it? It was up in the air somewhere. No, that's the cocoa. And what do we have there? Kapok fiber. Nobody cares about Kapok fiber. Come on. Kapok fiber is so frustrating. I haven't found a way to... I mean, I can apply it off the bat, but I can't break it in any way. I, I can't do anything with it. I can't modify it. <laughs> I really want to do that. I want to... Like make tier 2 things and tier th 3 things and stuff like that. But I haven't been able to do that with the Kapok Fiber so far. It says alter. I just don't know how. So um, yeah, put it down there if you know a great way to alter the Kapok Fiber. So that I can make something something out of it. This actually looks like a pretty amazing area. Oh, did I see spider web in there? New landmark discovery jungle under the cliff oasis all right no wonder i thought it was looking really awesome it is an oasis i mean not like desert kind of oasis but it does look like a plan to settle at something i could possibly settle here let's i'm gonna check out the area at some point i need to move my clan settlement i am in like the starting area, which is pretty good. I have everything around me, but if I want to keep discovering things further away from there, because I can't move the other direction, I can only like move forward and like a bit to the sides. So instead of wasting a lot of traveling time, every like whenever I need to go to a new place, I'm probably going to have to move the clan settlement. But uh, right now, I'm pretty happy. Oh, no, 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 man. My Kairotas, what are you doing here? I have my pate here, I have my group. Intimidate that thing away. Yeah, I'm not getting attacked in my in my default settlement, so that is a plus. I haven't had any attacks there so far. And since I don't really know how the bushes and you know like the barriers you can make actually work, I want to test it out. I'm building in the jungle uh, to see like how exactly does it work, what does it prevent. 
I, I kind of want to to like master that a little bit before I before I move settlement. So there are like a gazillion things I still need to discover, learn, try and do in this game, and it's um it's just gonna happen when when time allows really because I'm having so much fun that just trying to discover whatever is like it, the obvious good choice to discover right here and right now because something to do in this game all the time at least it has been like that for i think i've played like 10 hours a day or something crazy for about four days so a lot of cool stuff going on in this game so let's dig into the under the cliff oasis we are now under the cliff and this looks yeah we have a horse tail we have some water we can drink we have stones we have the grass psych hat stuff and it looks like we had some kind of spider web stuff over there as well. We have cocos in the area, kapok fiber. So we are, this is definitely a settle spot. So that is probably going to happen in the future. I don't know how much more I'm going to be exploring, but I still have a lot of stuff in the jungle area here that I, that I need to look into before I'm ready to say bye bye. Oh yes, oh yes I do. I also, like, I haven't gotten honey from from the beehive at my starting camp yet. Or, like, I don't know if you need the wax or you need the honey. Because I haven't been able to get anything from it. Fresh water source, great. So before I have everything, like, before I know everything about the first area, I'm not going to be moving away from it. That is the plan. Alright. So what do we have over there? Loads of snails. Ha <laughs> ha. Loads of snails. Wow, that is actually a pretty cool thing for the area. We have six snails spawning here. That is food enough for my entire tribe and it's anti-poison. So if I go into battle and I get poisoned, I can just go back here, mimic, like set up the mimic command to make everybody eat a snail and then we're gonna get the poison out of the system. That is, that is pretty, pretty important stuff. So that, that alone makes this for a great spot. Fresh water, in case we, we eat something that we don't want to. We have horse tail to stop bleeding, and we have snails that can be easily picked up for anti-poison. That is, that is pretty crazy. I'm just gonna be sleeping a little bit here. Clan member dead. Okay, another, yeah. Well, I mean, I have been battling snakes and bulls and black Mackay rotas and golden Mackay rotas and whatnot, so it's okay. It's a bit of a shame, but they were getting old anyway, so it doesn't matter that much. But I want to check out this stuff here. As long as it's not the kids. I mean, the only... No! Oh, so that's probably why they died. It ate us in the sleep? Are you freaking kidding me? Well, now intimidation is going to be harder because we are... Fewer members of the tribe. Come on, man. Why can I not intimidate when I'm being attacked? Now I'm bleeding. Well, did I die? Oh man. Whoa, that was crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Well, I was just talking about how nice a spot this was. I definitely need branch barriers or something because who wants to be sleeping somewhere where you're gonna be attacked all the time? So, it's not a good home. Well, it may be, perhaps it will be when I get the branches up, but right now I am looking at a trapped insect all right let's eat that trapped insect i know that we can eat snails so i'm expecting insects to be good food but assimilated nutrients from the insect kind of food great adaptable metabolism so that is an evolutionary feat hopefully it will allow me to eat even more different stuff in the future like when i evolve but i I don't exactly know how the evolutionary feats affect the game. It appears to be like achievements, but um, yeah, probably next week I'm gonna be looking into into evolving. I feel like I am closing in on the cap of what I can do in the current evolution. But I don't know. Put it down there, guys. Like I'm um, I'm trying to. It's a little bit hard. I want to be sharing this stuff with you guys, but I'm having so much fun playing. I'm trying to cap it into about 30 minutes per day. And obviously I'm a lot behind because of all the video editing and stuff like that. It takes ages to, to cut these many, many hours of gameplay into something I feel 
is like meaningful to share because there are so many things I discover all the time and so much stuff I'm just having fun with but we will find out uh, but anyway yeah hopefully next week my time game time I'm good no I should have known I couldn't eat mushrooms ah man stupid me well I tried I tried but yeah like I was saying next week my time probably like episode 40 or something I I hope to, to do an evolution, but the time will tell, time will tell. Be sure to put it down there, guys, what you think I should do in the game. Obviously, I am quite a bit ahead, but I would definitely love to read it after the weekend, nonetheless, depending on when you're reading this, obviously, or hearing that that doesn't matter. I'm massively hyped about the support you guys are giving this, trying out something new on my channel in addition to the Fortnite stuff. Going to be having a lot of idle gaming stuff around the corner as well. But uh, yeah, most importantly for me is that I'm sharing something that I'm super hyped about and that is important for me. Absolutely love you guys as always. Thank you very much and very much for watching.